Hello guys and welcome to episode 41 of my Empire Total War campaign playing as Great Britain on very hard difficulty. Today we are starting off by taking on a battle against Spain. Um, it should be relatively simple, we've just got to kill off their initial forces, the general bodyguard and their other horsemen here, the uh, regiment force, and then we will just kill off the Firelock Arms citizenry relatively easily I hope. Uh, since their morale is already pretty low and will be even more like lower after their general dies. So that's what I'm going to be looking to take advantage of. Let's go ahead and fight this on the battlement. So we made relatively good progress pre previously. We took Gibraltar. Now what we're going to be doing is hopefully taking Lisbon soon. There's a lot of stuff to do in this turn, though. I've also been considering attacking France, especially after previously wrecking their armies. Right, let's just grab all of my men. We'll line them up like so. And uh, we'll just start it. I mean, there's not really much deployment to go. We just want to run down their cav. These guys, I'm not sure what they're doing. Oh, no, it doesn't really matter. These guys can target the general bodyguard since there's only two men. They miss. That is quite spectacular. Okay, well, somehow. That guy was still alive. Now he's not. Now he's very dead. Right, I'd like to... Maybe kill off the general, if I can. Okay, doesn't look like we're going to be able to. Trouble is, if he recovers and he doesn't rout, it's going to make things difficult. Okay, they're coming in with the reinforcements over here. We do have these walls, so let's use those. Bring these guys over and spread out. Ideally, we want to be as close to the walls as we can, but I'll have to do. So yeah, hopefully they'll just run off the field, those regiment of horse. And then once they do, it should make things a lot easier against these Farlock Arm citizenry. Because it will technically mean that their general has fled. Yeah, he's gone. Oh, their general's alive, actually. So maybe it doesn't affect them that much. Oh no, there we go. Concerned. General fled recently. There we go. I, I'm pretty. Yeah, I was pretty sure that uh, it would affect them, so that's good. Alright, hopefully our guys can fire away soon. We do have the cover here, which is quite nice. Especially when we do kneel fire. Yeah, some of their force is already running, or thinking of running. Great. Now just time to start a chain route, I guess. <laughs> oh, my horsemen are getting shot in the back. That's great. Yeah, I think I put my guys in a pretty good position, actually. And these Phylacombs are doing pretty bad. Uh, looks like they're going to try and engage me in melee here. Might be worth just engaging them in melee first. Yeah, especially here. Let's just go. To engage them. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, good. Did a lot of damage with the charge. Have to be careful with my general. Looks like they're trying to sneak around there. Sneaky AI. Right, 
Yeah, so just overwhelm these chaps. Then we can focus on those ones down the hill a bit more. Okay, they run away. Okay, that's good. Let's just focus on running down those guys. And um, we can even come in with the cab. out of that fight. Don't want my generals to die. That could really mess things up. A lot of their units are re uh, recovering. I'm going to have these guys turn around. Line back up again. Maybe have the general run those guys down. Really? Did I just like knock half my own dudes down with my horsemen? That's really annoying. They weren't even on full charge. It wasn't like I'd given them the charge order straight away. It's really odd. general come back. I wish my charges were that effective against their infantry as they were against ours just then. I wish going to charge downhill onto these men. Oh, I don't want my men to route. Why are they routing? Maybe it's just because they're tired. I don't know. I'm going to charge in down here. Nice. Charge into those men. Stop running down my own men. <laughs> so irritating. Right, if we win this, she puts us in a really good position. So let's just go for a rear charge here. Hopefully, we can do some damage. Him out. There we go. Bravo, I think we've done it. End the battle there before I get more friendly fire with my horsemen. Like, I realized that if horsemen run through formations, that they'll generally trample some dudes, but the fact that they trample more of my own men than the enemy is rather silly. Oh well, I'll take that. That's fine. Relatively successful battle. It maybe could have been a bit cleaner, but um, ah, it doesn't matter at the end of the day. We have our reinforcements arriving to take Lisbon anyway, regardless of those two armies, so that is fine. I might even be able to like auto-resolve that battle because their Phylok Arm Sistering are going to be really badly damaged. Then again, if I auto resolve, I might lose units. Maybe we'll take the risk, because it doesn't really matter, because I'm not going to need the, the units in Spain anyway.
yeah, they might have some decent veterancy. And veterancy does seem pretty hard to get. But in general, I'm not sure it's worth the time it will take for them to get all the way from Spain to France when I could otherwise um, benefit from the increase in my economy due to not paying so much upkeep. Thirteen colonies. It would be really nice if they stopped running around everywhere with one stack. It's really annoying. They're not even doing very well. And that's probably why. Oh, Savoy's gonna hit our trade. Here we go, Cherokee. Coming in. Oh, they're just going to wreck the 13 colonies a little bit more. Oh, they're going to go take Fort Di Tartarus. Oh, of course they are. And the pirates are going to raid me there. Wow. We only got 4,900 in the end turn. That's pretty savage. Okay. Blood pressure taken. The Reverend Stephen Hales of Teddington has long been respected for his detailed scientific studies of the natural world. Building on his previous work concerning the pressure of sap in plants and the transpiration of moisture from the leaves, he has now discerned a natural pressure in the blood of living creatures. His method of testing is to insert a brass pipe into the artery of a horse to which a glass tube is attached, then observing that the blood within the tube could be seen to rise and has concluded that this must be due to pressure. Presently, the method of observing this phenomenon is highly invasive, so the medical benefits of this discovery may take a while to present themselves. Interesting. Not really sure I'd like to go to the doctor and have a brass tube stuck into my artery. Hmm, that would be rather uncomfortable. Uh, glad we've advanced in science. Okay. Traits and ancillaries gained. Benedict Thorn, extra morale. Very nice. Now it's time for Leopold Alf or Ulfri to come in and help. I'm actually might take the general back to Spain. Because I don't think we need him. We need him really to go and attack those guys. We'll just have the reinforcements arrive and we're going to attack this settlement. Can we auto resolve it? I really want to risk it. Victory okay. Is ours. Phew. Okay, it worked. Only 72 loss. That's actually a pretty good outcome. Wow. Raise the flag. And Lisbon is ours. Beautiful. We're only minus six as well. Hmm. Okay, let's uh, fix up the palace and the royal observatory. And uh, they should be happy next turn. That would be nice. I might also just merge these guys. There we go. Although actually that's probably a bad idea. I didn't really affect public order that much. Will help out our economy a little bit. 4,911 a turn. Hmm. It's really not good. Where is all that going? Well, wow, trade. Uh, I'm pretty sure our Indian men are still here, right? Orders. How much are they making? 4,500. Maybe we could make more in South America. What I might do is send some of these ships, maybe like half of them, down to Brazil. To Brazil. Like the South American Trade Theatre, or maybe the East Africa Trade Theatre. I'm not sure which one's better. We'll go. We'll try the South America Trade Theatre. Oh, we've been blocked. Spanish Navy here. Oh my! <laughs> That's scary. Look at that. Second-rate ship of the line. Galleons. Third-rate ship of the line. Oh my! 
my Indiamen are in a pretty terrible position right there. Ah. Oh. Okay, uh, maybe we move them all. Because <laughs> I really don't want to be killed by that Spanish fleet. Uh, let's just get them all out of there. Yeah, we're just going to do a runner. This will really tank our economy. But I think it's worth maybe saving those guys. Uh, if we can get them to set up trade in Brazil, it would be worth it. As long as the Spanish don't come and mess us up. Right. Uh... What else can we do? We need to fix up our galleon here. There is a pirate ship, but I don't really want a 2v1, I don't think. I guess we could 2v1. I'm pretty sure I saw pirates move into this port, right? The pirates own that, so they're occupying it, yeah. So let's move into here with these ships and then we'll sort of maybe approach the, the pirates afterwards and maybe be able to capture some galleons. That would be cool. The Portugal is captured. That's actually really good for us. How much is that making? 829. In Paris, we're making 2,586. It's quite considerably amount more, isn't it? Hmm. In Spain, could we move out our army? Because I kind of want to go and hunt down these chaps. I reckon they're quite weak at the moment. We should also push out the Spanish Navy from this port. If I can. Oh, this dry dock can build second rate ships of the line. Maybe we can finally upgrade our fleets. Like, I would have focused on diplomatic technology, or not diplomatic, um, you know, the naval technology here. But we can never get gallon um we can never get galleons and their galleons are so good. It's like so unfair. <laughs> they have a bomb catch for God's sake. That's ridiculous. Let's boot them out of there. Get out of my port. And um I might even put another one into this port. Ready and waiting. Yeah, we can do that. So we'll just occupy them both. Doesn't really matter about fixing it up because I don't think the dockyard provides us with any cash anyway. I mean, they're both dockyards. Or dry docks, at least. Oh, look at this. Steam dry dock or naval hospital. These can get heavy first rates. Oh, boy. 122 guns. Steam ship. Ability to ignore wind. Wow. Okay. Get rocket ships eventually as well. A heavy first rate. 10,000 hold strength. Crazy. Okay. We're not going to build one of those. <laughs> not for now anyway. But we kicked the Spanish out of their ports and that means that they cannot build any more of those, hopefully. Although they do have ports elsewhere, don't they? What are their ports like over here? Well, there isn't actually one at Cagliari and that's their new capital actually, speaking of it. Um, they do have one over here but that's a major fishery. Uh, two major fisheries, actually, at Naples. Uh, do they have any in the Americas? No, I don't think they do. So, hopefully, we've stopped their production of galleons. Now we've just got to kill the ones that they have. 
And considering they obviously moved into the Ivory Coast previously, and fortunately I managed to notice that, um, they... Yeah, there's a lot of them, and we got to kill them. Anyway, um, I was thinking that maybe we could attack France. Well, we have a lot of forces here that we've been building up. Like, I've been purposefully recruiting into these settlements for a while now. And Amsterdam's just finished its replenishment on pretty much all of its forces. Um, Brussels, the forces here aren't too bad either. I could cancel the replenishment on these forces and have them come out as well the only thing we're kind of lacking is a general but maybe I could get a general do I have a general in Paris? no I don't yeah we definitely need a general for these European wars let's recruit a general Emmanuel Hum. And I think what we're going to do is attack this army in this farmland. I think that was the one that originally attacked Brussels. So let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, they're really depleted. So we'll, we'll make sure to do that. And we're going to fight this on the battle map. I could have used my forces from Brussels actually to reinforce. But then again, I could just use them to attack Cologne. We're not at war with the Prussians anymore, so I can take as much of that land as I want. And the more of a buffer we have between the Prussians and Paris, the better, because then we can maintain our ground there. I mean, it might even be worth disbanding the forces in Jalgava, actually, where we just took out Kurland. Hmm. We'll sort that out after this battle. So we should be at a relatively large advantage here. We're going to take it slow. Um, I think I'm going to have my cannons on this right side because it's way more open. Um, so let's go, say... We'll go here where these, these guys are. Those can go to the right of them. Yeah, this is where my cannons are. Let's unload them. Okay, good. Have those guys spread out. Cavalry spread out as well. General spread out. Cavalry spread out on this flank. Okay, and my dudes are fine. Cool. Where are their cannons? I want to take those out. Oh, how convenient is that for them? They've put them behind the blooming house. Okay, we'll shoot at their gendarmerie. Try and kill off some of these horses. Oh, there is a cannon here, actually. Oh, they're already wavering. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll take out this cannon, if I can. And then maybe what I'll do is realign my cannons to take out their other cannon. It looks like they're forced to come towards me, so that's that's fine going to take a little while for me to actually hit them by the looks of things, which is frustrating. Uh, the majority of their forces are on the right. They've got a unit of line infantry on the far left, though, which is odd. Maybe break off some of these. Have these guys just come over. That's fine. Did we take out their gun? Not yet. All I need is like one hit on the gun. And I'm satisfied. The trouble is, if they get close enough to for canister, then I'll probably just change the canister and shoot at their... Yeah, we'll probably just shoot at their dudes here. Look at that spray. Yeah, we may as well just canister their dudes. This is going to be nice. 
nasty. Oh, wow. That was some shots right there. Oh, they all ran. No surprise there. Absolute massacre. They have so much more firepower than them. Don't stand a chance. I'll get those horses if we can. Yeah, never mind. Oh, those guys got taken down to five men. Of those horsemen. That's good. General's being shot at actually. Let's change these back to round shot. Try and take out those cannons once again. Do I have any forces I could like use? I don't know. I guess we'll use these guys. Since they're the weakest. Alright, General's dead. Oh crap. I think I'm going to have these guys maybe limber, limber up again. Oh, we took out the gun. Nice. That's good. And we managed to get in here without taking a canister shot to the face. So that's even better. Those guys are dead. Let's just kill off those guys as well. If they want to just be shot, that's fine. Yeah, there we go. That's fine. Okay, so the reason I limbered up these guys is because I want to use them against this line infantry over here. Um, if I can get them all the way over to this far left side, we can bring them up to where these fences are and just shoot into them. Um, in the meantime, the rest of my forces will travel in that direction. And uh, we'll just have it sped up because uh, it doesn't matter if they walk since my cannons are going to take their sweet time to get over here anyway. But better safe than sorry. So far we've kept it very clean indeed. Barely lost any men. So I don't want to be silly and lose more than I have to when it will just take an extra minute or two to get the job done. Patience is key when it comes to strategy. That's what helped me through the, uh, the war game stuff so much. Hmm. I am going to be careful here though. They've actually engaged me early, so... Let's just line up and shoot them to death. Doing too much damage at the moment because we're sort of shooting through the trees, but that's okay. Once we get more guns on target, they'll start to fall apart quite nicely. And these guys are not quite in range. Move them forwards a bit. Yeah, we got them on the flanks. They're gonna get mown down, get a shot from both sides. They're gone, just gone. 
Right, let's turn off uh, fire at will. Actually, we can just end the battle, I think, because we assaulted a farm, didn't we? Which means the, the army will just die. Good. 64 lost. Job done. Right, so that was successful. Cleaned up an army of the French. Now, the thing I was talking about before we went into battle was these forces over here. And the fact that the Poland-Lithuanians did move in quite a lot of forces. Like, I don't think it's worth even moving this fleet over here. I think we'll just move them back. Maybe let them fight to the death. But at the same time, it's kind of pointless because... It's Poland Lithuania and we're not going to be over here attacking them for a very long time. How much are these costing me in upkeep? Like it is quite a lot, right? I guess we may as well just have them fight to the death. They are most definitely going to get attacked in the next turn, I think. One thing we are also going to have to do is attack this smaller army. But then once that's dead, we might just be able to go straight onto Cologne and start sieging it. And if we're doing that, thinking about it, we might be able to get the forces out of Paris and go and attack Strasbourg. Because that's only got, what, three units? Only one unit of line infantry. And four units of file of arm citizenry. So, yeah, we could probably just attack them there. We've got the forces in Spain that uh, we'll be cleaning up the last of the Spanish here and then we're going to be able to send them back up north. Very tempted to go and maybe try, try and take out Turin here owned by Savoy because then we can take out Milan as well owned by the Spanish. Yeah I think we're gonna we've got we've got a lot of stuff to do still. But unfortunately, guys, it has been my time. So this is where I'm going to leave it. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.